Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here, and today on a very special edition of Real Talk with Bleaker, before we get down to the serious subject matter, we're going to get down to welcoming the latest members of the community. First member, uh, Camerax? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Noob Sarah. Oyun. Herakita. Herakita. Uh, Mr. Zach King. Lays it. Gaming commentary and Mo. Lillian Christina, Amanda Brown, a Amando Rusco Berger. Megan Polak, a Mr. Benjamin Wall. Ender Gaming. Nice. A Broccoli Richardson. Broccoli? 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 A Jacob Andreas. Andreas, nice. Stenson. Stenson. Initials are Jass. A Bunny Slipper. Ethan YT Gamer. A Majestic Spidey. Purple TNT 28. 28. It's a random ass number. 28. <laughs> Jeff Daniels, Rachel Lee. Rachel Lee, my apologies. Lucas S. Brighton Sink. Brighton or Sink? Yeah, let's let's. Let's clean our sink, brighten it up a little bit. Uh, 2100 Shadow Boy. Love the profile pic. That is that is excellent right there. And Tonio um, Mildia? I'm sorry, I butchered that one. Like, this is a cow, I just butchered it. Like, <laughs> a Dancing Black Rose, a Diplock? Diplock Gaming? Bra Hales, Bra Hale S Aries. Oh, I butchered that. Colin Ebby, Tanzu, Seen Lu, Mister Phillips Gaming, Phillips Gaming. I like that. I like that. Jason Patillo, Patillo, Patillo. It's a Patillo, like a kind of food. Yes, I'd like one Patillo, please. Hold the sauce. Uh, Jemia, Jemi, Jem, God, this is going to be viral just because I cannot pronounce these names. Jemina Hepburn, Hepburn, Hepburn. Hmm. Fox Low, Fox Low, G R M L G. Next, Nightmare Gaming. Nightmare Gaming. Terrifying gaming. Pasep Akatsuki? Finally, something easy. Julie Senpai. Notice me, Senpai. A Shannon Farrell, a. Oh, dear God. New T. Hamalli? New T. Ham Al I Wow. I cannot pronounce that. I'm sorry. Sorry. A Callum Cummings Explosive Ninja. Aren't ninjas supposed to be stealthy? Why would you want an exploding ninja? It's like, hey look, he's over there. Oh no. <sighs> Dead. Hmm. Yeah, weird. Sydney Butler and Amy B. Welcome to all of you to our wonderful channel. Now, serious, now that I've welcomed all of the new subscribers, and I'm sure there's a few that I've missed, or there's some that I missed, but that's just because subscriptions aren't always made public, so I can't see it. But welcome. I tip my hat to you. So the serious talk today. Why should you support your small YouTube channels? Now this is one, a subject that I've, I've actually prepared for this a little bit, and I googled this subject. And oh my sweet Jesus, everybody's on different sides of the... I just bumped my mic. Everybody's on different sides of the fence. And about all that I could gather out of it is... One dude, it was, let's take down PewDiePie. Support your small YouTuber. And I'm like, that's not what this is all about. Another, and the same guy, he actually brought up one good point that I liked was... YouTube promotes its most popular users. And it leaves the smaller YouTubers with... Scrambling for whatever little views we can get after that. And it is a very valid point. Like, you Google Journey for the Enchanted Crest RPG. 
it'll come up with pretty much me. But that's because I'm the most popular. Now, that's not fair to the smaller YouTubers. In a way. Like, they're working just as hard, if not harder, than I am on these videos. And they're scrambling for views down at the... Down at the back of the page. So, seriously, guys. Skip the first page. Go down to that second and third page. Oftentimes, you'll find some quality stuff. I've seen quite a few quality gameplays of um, that series. And um, some of them are actually really, really good. I mean, we got some kids with some mics. But just need some different mics. But overall, like some of the quality of those was like spot on. I think it was a Mr. Oh, goodness gracious. What was his name? I don't see him on the list, but one of them, it was like a prime video. It just was my quality. Like you can you can't make it in YouTube these days without a decent mic. Like I'm rocking this beautiful thing. I'm working on acquiring new stuff too. I'm working on a new computer actually, but that's beside the point. But why should you support your small YouTuber? It's kind of a mentality of I was here first kind of deal. Not I was here first, kind of that's a bad example. Um I liked it before it was cool, kind of thing. Like, that's a mindset I'm starting to get of people who want to support my small YouTubers. Is like, hey, I was here first. I liked you before it was cool, which is, which is a reason. But I don't think that's what it's truly about. Other people are like, like another example. Another you, I read a Reddit post and it's like, to support them because they're doing something they love, and that's what I think it's about right there. Is support the small YouTubers, because we want to do this. We want we all we want to do is bring content to the masses, so to speak. Uh, we want to bring content to you guys, the loyal subscribers, just like people who aren't subscribed. We want the views and stuff. We want some recognition for our work. That might be I know that's a reason to also support YouTubers. You know, give to them some rec some recognition for their work. And I believe that the dude who is like the YouTubers, the bigger YouTubers were promoted more than the smaller ones. That is true. But that's just how the system works. But I believe that YouTube does very much so rewards those people who put out good content. Like you have a unique video or something, your content's going to get out put out more. The other argument that I like why you should support a small YouTuber is not only were you here first, but you know, you're helping people out. Some people do this for money or just like a little extra cash. You're helping those people out. That's the only example I could personally think of of why you support small YouTubers. The rest of them are like other people's, like, support small YouTubers because you're not supporting the bigger ones. And it's like, that is not a good reason. Support small YouTubers, you know, help them out. Make people feel good about themselves. Some people, like, this is the only attention they get. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but some people, this is the only attention they get. It's like, they go on the YouTube and it's like, you know, they're five minutes of fame, they're ten minutes of fame. It's cool. Like, rock on to you guys. But I believe, with all my heart, that you should support a small YouTuber because shits and giggles, man. I mean, I think some of the best content that bigger YouTubers have made was before they got famous. Like, those videos where they're really trying their hardest before they were famous. I'm not saying that they're not trying now, but their absolute hardest. I believe YouTubers were doing their best work before they got big. Like, whenever I'm watching an old video, I will go back before they got famous. And I'll watch those older videos to see really what they're about. Like how far they've come. That's why I think you should support a small YouTuber. Is to kind of see a progression of an individual throughout a YouTube career. What If you go back to my stuff from a year ago, it, I sound absolutely awful. Like it is truly awful. But then I got a better mic. I started to figure out my recording skills. I started to develop like a personality for this. I'm not saying I'm a YouTube personality by any of these stretch of the imagination. But you just kind of see a progression of an individual. And that's why... That's why I think you should support a small YouTuber, is to kind of, like, watch progression of an individual. They'll have cool content, don't get me wrong, but you'll get to see a progression. A YouTuber just, like, grow and flourish, and it's just an amazing thing to watch to me. They're like, I would subscribe to some smaller YouTubers, and then they got big, and it's like, that's cool. Like, they grew as individuals. Not only did they, like, conquer their own personal demons, because some of them, they actually do that, and they'll break down crying on camera and stuff, but I'm not saying that's bad, but they're conquering their own personal demons. I think that's actually pretty cool. Like you just watch that progression from A to B, from start to finish, from alpha to omega, from beginning to the end. That's what I think smarting, supporting a small YouTubers is all about. The progression. Or something like that. <laughs> I 
I prepared a little bit for this at this point now. It's I'm run out of ideas for this book. I think this is pretty I think that's pretty solid. Just the progression of people. It's why you should support them. And because honestly we're absolutely hysterical. But, you know, we do it because we love it. If you're making a you if you want to support a small YouTuber, hats off to you. Small YouTubers, if you're making videos and you're doing it just 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 for the views, just for the comments, just for the pats on the back, that's not what it's all about. You do it because you love it. I'm not saying like. I'm not saying you enjoy it. You do it because you love it. That's what this is all about for us as YouTubers. We do it because we love it. Getting subscribers is great. And once you build a community, address that shit to the subscribers all you want. But we do it because we love it. Not because we like it. I don't like my YouTube channel. I love it. I love it when I wake up in the morning and it's like, you got a whole bunch of views. Cool. I love it when it's like, I got a whole bunch of comments. I love it. That's great. Support small YouTubers, guys. Oftentimes, that's where the entertainment's at. It's the progression of people. It's where the entertainment's at. And it helps us, encourage us to do what we love. That's what it's all about, guys. I kind of thought you'd like that. All right. Solid Real Talk video. See you guys.